Hello YouTube friends and subscribers. You know how it is, the summer visitors have all gone back to their little places uh, in other parts of the country and left you to pick up the pieces. And what do we find this time? They've busted the tap. So this tap is no longer operational. So what we're going to do is take the top off. There's a screw in there. Um, we get that screw out using an appropriate tool. Obviously fingers were invented long before screwdrivers. And um, once we've got that out, we can have a look and see what the problem is. Now these uh, taps, yes, I know it's a bit disgusting. They have lots of splines there. Now the modern taps, have a, I think it's 20 splines on the top of that what is known as a gland. Uh, that looks to have more to be honest. But anyway, what we're going to do is put this right today. I've been down to screw fix to obtain something which is known as a reviver kit. Sounds like something I can do with to be honest but um, anyway what have we got in here? Well, it's something that looks approximately helpful straight away. Uh, admittedly, this kit is uh, nine pounds, but you do get some very shiny taps, and it looks as if you actually get the gland as well. Now, if you buy the gland on its own, I think that's about six pounds. So this could well be the thing. Now I'm going to have to put the phone down while we have a quick examine of the contents. So here's your um, brand new piece of kit, your reviver kit. What we're going to do is just quickly get the little plastic cap off using our fingernail. That's only made of plastic that thing so don't use a Stanley knife on it. Just a Phillips head screwdriver or posi drive to take that out. And then there's the gland. Now if you wanted to do a nice job, you could turn, a hot, turn your water supply off, get your spanner on here and remove this and refit it, probably a little bit of PTFE tape around there may not be necessary I'm not sure you'd have to ask the experts uh, but what we're going to do is see if we can fit this brand new shiny top onto the existing uh, mixer tap I think it's got the same 20 splines here but we're going to find out very very soon That seems to go on there very nicely. Now I have turned the water off under the sink so that's why we're not getting any splashing and gurgling. But I think that is going to work beautifully. Now I suppose if I was a real gentleman I would do both sides at once so perhaps I might do that. So same thing this side, remove the, um, the cap, get the screw Right, hold on. Put the screwdriver in and remove the... Now, if you wanted to change the whole shooting match on the hot, you would need to isolate this supply, which usually means going in the airing cupboard and finding, and finding a gate valve of some description. Right, so here's our nice shiny new. Just get the... Get your thumbnail underneath there. Remove the Phillips head. This is such an easy peasy job, isn't it? This is a real DIY job, real Saturday morning type job. So there's the gland coming out again. Pop the new shiny top on. 
put the uh, thing that tells you whether it's hot or cold. If you feel like putting the plug in the sink before you go and drop this down the gurgler, it might be a worthwhile precaution. Get that back in there. Tighten it just nicely, not, don't go nuts. It's not a trial of strength. Pop that back on there. Now, how easy is that, ladies and gentlemen? I think that kit was $8.95, $8.99 from Screwfix. And it's called a Basin Contract Reviver Kit. And I think you've agree with me that has revived that quite nicely. Well, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you found that moderately interesting. What we've done is fixed the taps that our summer visitors busted using this reviver kit. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be good, thank you. And you'll be able to see what else we get up to. I guess I should do the washing up now.